Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve slow printing problems on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. And this should apply for all major brands of printers such as Epson, Brother, HP, Dell, Xerox, to name a few. The first thing I recommend considering is if you are using your printer and you've modified the settings. Like if you have silent mode enabled, it might make the printer take longer to print because it has to you know, move slower. That's one thing to consider. As well as if you've been really using your printer a lot that day, printers can overheat. You know, printers are not very expensive machines and they can wear out very easily. So it's certainly possible it's being overused or overheated. So that's you know, something to consider. Possibly you might just have a really low end printer. So that's one thing you definitely want to take a look at. Looking into a couple other things we can try here as well if we open up the search menu and type in printers. Best match, go back with printers and scanners. Go ahead and open that up. You want to select the printer you're having the problem with. And you want to select run the troubleshooter. And then hopefully be able to identify the problem from here. You can also go underneath printing preferences if you love click on that. And now this is a generic printer that's built into Windows 11. But in your case, if you're going to need printer preferences or printer properties, there should be a variety of settings in here, such as under advanced. And you want to go and just head and make sure there's no additional settings that are turned off. Like I said, like slow printing. That's certainly a way that your printer is going to be printing slower. And like nighttime printing or maybe higher quality printing settings that could all have impacts on the print speed. So again, something to take a look at there. By running the troubleshooter, I believe you also already reset the print spooler service, so you don't have to do that again. And then that's pretty much it, guys. Not really that much more to go into here. You could look at your internet connection speed, but generally that should have very marginal impact on the print speed because printer files aren't usually that big unless you're printing out thousands of pages for some strange reason, but pretty self-explanatory process here, guys. I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.